Okay, welcome back to the libcurl video tutorial. The simplest episode, simplest I call it, because we are going to make the simplest possible libcurl application today. And just to get some sort of hands-on and get a feeling for the very basic, um, well, concepts of libcurl. So again, I have my screen here. You see the editor on the right, the terminal in the middle, and the me here then. Uh, in the corner, but it doesn't matter. So I will start out to write a little uh, main function, of course. I do it, I don't accept any arguments to it. I expect it to return a zero always. And as I ex have explained before, we wanna make a global init in the beginning to make sure that we initialize curl properly. And in the end, we do a curl global cleanup. So that's just sort of the skeleton to, to make sure that we do that. And when we work with curl, we work with curl handles. Let's call it curl um, in lowercase. So this is a, the curl asterisk with uppercase. It's, um, it's just a handle for to a, to a transfer really. And that's, we operate on transfers with curl. And uh, you know, by now we do, we include the, the regular curl header here in our file to make sure that we can do all the curl stuff. And we can also maybe include a standard IO uh, so that we can use printf or whatever we want to do to show something. So let's create a transfer. We then create a, a handle and get that into the handle variable that we already declared. So we do a curl easy init. This just creates an, oops, sorry, I'm pressing wrong buttons here. This just creates a, an empty handle for a specific transfer. And we, we haven't set anything up yet. So this could be any transfer of any kind. It's just a, a naked blank handle to do something with. So what do we do? First, we check that it actually worked. Because if it fails, if there's some problem here, uh, out of memory, something, it, it, it'll return a null and then we shouldn't continue. So let's check that it actually worked. We got something back. We got a handle back. So what do we do to create a transfer? We have a handle. We set a URL. That's the only thing we really need to set on a, on a handle to make sure that uh, a transfer is going to happen. So this is how you do it. You, s you do the curl easy setup on the handle variable here called curl now and here are options there are many options there are almost 300 options to select from and we are going to talk about more options in in other episodes but this episode is the simplest episode we do the simplest possible libcurl code here so we just set the curl up url and we set it to x https colon slash slash example dot com this is an example domain and it works. It's an HTTPS protocol. So we ask curl to get this URL for us. That's the only thing we ask here. And then, oh, we want to do a perform curl easy perform, perform the transfer, that transfer that we specified with the curl handle in the argument. But hey, we want to return the, re the result code here in a variable called the rest. So we need to declare it. Maybe we do it uh, here. Curl code, that's called. So we declare a, a variable to, re to be able to retrieve the return code from the perform call. So it will then perform the entire transfer synchronously. So it'll do the entire thing from start to end. And when it's done, it returns a result code if it succeeded or not. Or, um, Actually, if it succeeded or an error code, and there were like almost 100 different error codes. But uh, we can al also just, uh, if it wasn't okay, that's the curl error code for okay, which also happens to be zero. So we could uh, simplify this, but it, it's um, visually pleasing to do this. So if it's not zero, something wrong happened, we can f print f the error to standard error maybe, a curl easy or curl easy perform return and let's 
then show an error string instead of that for because you know what's an error number right then we have this handy handy curl easy errors that actually can convert the error code here in that rest variable to a string and it returns it so we can f print it print we can f print f it like this that's a difficult word to talk about so okay if there's an error we show the error as a string and then we clean up again curl easy and you if you notice you see the pattern they're called curl easy in it easy setup easy perform easy str error and easy cleanup because they're part of the easy api with libcurl the easy api they're focused on a single transfer and it makes transfers synchronously there are other apis that we are going to talk about in other episodes but so you can do things asynchronously or non-blocking or every or everything you can do a lot of things but in this episode we do this simplest possible application so back again we initialize it initialize it globally we create a transfer store the, the transfer in a handle the curl handle sometimes called the easy handle and we set an option to it curl is set up we set the url option and we set that the specific url which is the example.com https url and then we do the transfer it returns the success or error code in there we check it if it's not okay we output an error and then we clean up and since we will always clean up even if it did an error because we created a handle over there and we clean it up there so in it and clean up always you know pairwise a corresponding cleanup for each init and that goes for the global init too right global init and global cleanup in the bottom so then we make and see did we succeed on yeah but i messed up and put a little underscore after the main that was wrong so let's make again and it worked and this is the same make file again that we set up in the setup episode my curl up i'm using the same name on this c file to make it easy to run make so we can now run my app and boom we got a lot of data here this is the html from the example.com website https colon slash example.com and this is the output and why what why do you want it on, on the standard out like this maybe you don't but this is the simplest possible libcurl code we didn't ask for <laughs> we didn't ask libcurl to direct direct this output anywhere so it will send it to standard out by default and as you can imagine we only sell one single option here so of course you get the default set for all the other opportunities or changes you can do or, or set for a single transfer so um, in this case we were happy with the defaults because we wanted to make it the simplest possible libcurl app and it worked and it got the content and we got it uh, on standard out but yeah we can redirect it to if we wanted to we could rerun the code again and we can save it to a file like this and we would have the the HTML done in the saved file like this Woo. a simple little curl example code um, yeah this is introduces you to the concept of you know curl easy handles you set options you do the perform as a fully synchronous blocking operation that works until it's done and then you know we have what if it succeeded or not there it is um, let's move on to something more fun perhaps to more useful so click on to another episode and we'll get into deeper libcurl functionality <laughs>